Uh, just the, the human side of, you know, when it, knowing what it's like to be a new artist and, you know, trying to break out and not even just break out into an industry, but break out of yourself and trying to uh, find, you know, your confidence in it. So I guess that was the thing that I could relate to the most. And also, I think the people around him, you know, his support team, you know, knowing because I've been there, knowing that, you know, any artist that we love, any artist that we see, I don't care who it is, you, you can name your favorite artist, they would not be who they are if it wasn't the people around. And it doesn't necessarily have to be famous people, it could be a friend, it can be a parent, you know, it could be, you know, just somebody hanging around the studio. But, but they, these are the people that help make the artist because you're only good as uh, the music you grew up to and your contemporaries, that's basically what you are. The origin of the word um, hip hop, First you have to be hip, and the older you get, you get further away from the hipness. I mean, you can know what's going on, but you know, there's always new slang, there's always new rhythms, new patterns, all that kind of stuff, and once you start trying to imitate that thing, I mean, people see it, man, you know, and it, it becomes embarrassing at a, at a point. And, um, and this is just my personal opinion, like I, you know, just feel like I, you know, wouldn't have much to offer, you know, to the game after a certain point, you know, it's like being a boxer. I think you can, as long as you feel it, you know, as long as you want to make albums, if it's in your heart, because I've seen Jay-Z and, you know, I've seen um, Eminem and Kanye, you know, kill it. As long as it's in your heart and you want to do it, you know, keep doing it. I think there's a difference between surviving and putting out albums and thriving too, you know, and just having the pulse of what's going on. I think there's a huge difference. So you just have to figure out what are you really trying to do? The thing is, is like when you're going out and doing these kind of anniversary, you know, type tours, which I'm, I'm glad we decided to do it because I think it was a great thing to happen, especially right now with like the 90s resurgence with kids wanting to know, you know, what was Outkast like or what was Wu-Tang like or what was Nas like. And those are my contemporaries. So, you know, we're all out doing these shows now, you know, presenting songs and we wrote when we were like 17, 18 years old. So it feels great that you see these new eyes, these new kids into the music. And also you see these 40 year, 40 year old, 36 year old people jamming to it too. You know, they they have their families and three kids and minivans and soccer moms and all this kind of stuff. But you remember them and they remember those songs and those songs are part of their lives. And you can't, I'd never be able to take that away. You know, so that was the most fun part about touring, just knowing that we're giving people these songs that, you know, they remember that were part of their life. Cause I'm a fan of music too and I know how I felt you know, when I heard, you know, my favorite acts, you know, as a high school, man, I, I can't even remember what was going through my mind. It was just so much just pulsating energy. I actually did not expect to win. So, I mean, I think it's a difference if you were like, yeah, we got this, you know? So I think it was a total surprise. So I was kind of just, my mind was just blown, you know? I'm Andre Benjamin and you're on Grammy.com.